안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami. Today I have two special guests on the channel and a very disheveled appearance from the two of us. She's fine. She looks angelic. We look disheveled. We're going to try to upload this with a, the least amount of edits as possible, so please bear with us. Just gonna review and announce she's here, baby's here, finally. And also the surgery, how the surgery went and um, what you can expect moving forward on this channel and also on our family channel where we just uploaded the birth vlog. So if you'd like to watch that, you can click through right here. Yesterday night was our first night back from the hospital. We spent one night at the hospital, a total of 40 hours. The surgery was in the morning, so she was born at 8.31 in the morning on Tuesday, July the 9th, 2009. It went pretty smoothly. She, she came out really fast. 2019. Oh, 2019. Yeah, it went very well. Recovery has been well for Nami. For C-section, as planned, we had the tubal ligation performed during the, the C-section as well, since everything is already open. Mm. And our OB was very good. Mm. And she, I like a confident doctor. When she asked us, like, will you be having the tubal ligation? And then, she said, if you do, 100% chance you cannot get pregnant again. And she, she like, she's very confident about her surgical skills. Mm -hmm. And the doctors around her also attest to her amazing surgical skills. And also, those of you who have seen my C-section scar from Zeke's C-section, also say that, you know, you know what a good scar looks like. And she does a very good job, so. We're very happy with um, how everything went. My stand-in family doctor told me that when they were performing the surgery, the bottom lining of my uterus, where my my previous scar was, was very, very, very thin. So I, he said I would have ruptured, I would have torn there if we did try for a VBAC. So we're very glad that, you know, in Canada, we're not allowed to, because I think we could have tried for a VBAC. But if I had contractions, I would have torn there because he said it was so thin that you could see her hair through my uterus. Usually, uterine rupture is only 1% risk of C-section patients that try for a VBAC. Like, usually it's very low, 1%. But that doesn't mean that I would be 1%. It means that I could be part of the 1%. Mm. So, we're really glad that, you know, that wasn't the case because you could die from uterine rupture. The surgery becomes very complicated. What do you think of your sister? What do you think of your baby sister? It's her first day back. It looks like she's kind of waking up. Yeah, she, it might be time for her to eat soon. She's very clear with what she wants. She'll cry if she's uncomfortable or if she needs something. And she'll stop crying if it's satisfied. Yeah. So she's clear of what she wants. And when she's satisfied, she's calm. Yes, she's calm. So sleeping pretty well. She only woke up twice, fed for feeding, and she's been. What? When she was born, she was so pretty. Uh. That was like, I was kind of beautiful. Yeah. Even the doctor was saying like, wow, she has such perfect features. Because he was like, every baby is beautiful. But her features is just so perfect. That's what the doctor said? Yeah, while he's wow. measuring her. He's like, wow, you're, I didn't realize how pretty you were. Her mm. features are very balanced. Yeah. No more. So we've been trying to practice speaking yeah. Korean with her. Mom? <gasps> Your tooth came out. Yeah. I give the harmony, she has it forever. Wow, good job, baby. I had summer camp. Great. She's healthy. Very minimal She's jaundice. Very healthy. And eating well. Yeah, and I'm healthy too. My recovery She's has been very slow. It's still hard for me to walk and stand, but and I do feel tugging at my at my cut, my incision. And my uterus is kinda heavy, but um, 
I do have to walk around to get my circulation flowing and to get my organs going again so moving forward I do have many pre-edited and pre-uploaded videos scheduled for uploading at their timings I was working really hard the last two months to just get that ready for everyone and get that ready for me so that I can rest but at the same time the channel doesn't need to break I think it's important for me to rest so for the next like month or so I'm probably not gonna do much work just posting on Instagram and on YouTube reading your comments and stuff but in terms of actually editing and stuff I think my goal will be doing that for the family channel but I was working very hard to pre-edit and pre-set those videos because we do also have to feed our other two kids so we can't afford to take a break on our channel so I was working hard beforehand so thank you for your concern I think this worked out the best way mm. and um, I also want to say thank you to Hannah who's our editor she really helped us out beforehand to like get a lot of videos ready as well thank you for all your support mm -hmm. for congratulating us yeah and all your like get well messages and and con congratulatory messages there'll be a lot more content on the family channel about her so you can go and watch those and see michael's videos as for the name i forgot to mention that We'll be announcing it after we submit our government documents and have all her paperwork done. Um, we'll probably be announcing it on the family channel. Please watch out for that video since her name hasn't been announced yet. So that's it for this announcement and kind of update. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay.